weekend roar turns to Wednesday whisper. Thoughts bent like twister, brains a blister, hands are shaking, shook like fists, and then you miss her. And in my northern mist, I hear you whisper, because I'm your soul scarred sister, pain resistor. I know you miss her, never kissed her. You mugged yourself, life lived in stealth. You choked your wealth, drowned out your health. Lies, laughing at your mental state. The weekend roar at Fury's gate. Then, Wednesday, whisper, always miss her. Your friends all called me female raw, chaos cemented at our core. But they didn't know what came before. Your past eluded, not concluded. The missing parts that tore our hearts. And I took my risks, but stayed half grounded. You hit harder, hope confounded. No narratives of start or end. You lied, my friend, and I told the truth, for they were never yours or mine in deep decline. They stole our time, and then time and time and time again, I swallowed pain, picked up, moved on. They had me gone. And if I'd stayed, would you be saved, or could I be you? Deja vu of times of times and times again, the many men who choke on words that might betray them. Words that could just save them. But silence follows Wednesday whisper, burning blister. God, you've missed her. Hypothesis of inevitability, born to incomprehensible instability. Lucidity doubting, statistics mounting, the matrix calling. I watched you falling. All those hospital wards, all the trains that I cried on. I am your sister, defiant relied on. But your whispered pain fucked up my brain, reliving brutalities buried deep. I clung to life and you craved to sleep. Your whispers mounting turned to shouting, pills went pop, the bridge was swaying, guilt for the love you were betraying. And they looked down in horror as history repeated guilt for their son, who was desperate, defeated. And as the blackness came to take you, rebellion of history, they wouldn't forsake you. Their cries chilled to crescendo. Please, son, don't let go. You reached out to touch them, a lifetime of yearning, but they wouldn't connect, because your flame was still burning. The heat of your fire still smouldered like kindling, the tiniest of embers defying this dwindling, and through their grief and their guilt and their sadness and sorrow, they vowed you would live for the joy of tomorrow. And you screamed at their faces, but your roar, it betrayed you so frightened and feeble to the parents who made you. So they conjured your siblings, your family, your friends, begged to consider the consequence of ends. And then you all faltered, like flatlining heartbeat, recalling the guilt you couldn't bear to repeat on a loved one or any, because it eats at your skin, your shame of their suicides that killed you within. But you knew they were sick and your heart was still open till finally forgiveness for your life that was broken. And they knew you were strong and so powerfully loved that no doors would be open to these realms up above. And still more, your roar faltered, heard 
heartwarming heartbeat. They knew precious life wouldn't end in defeat and still roaring, subdued. A subtle surrender. You saw flashes of freedom and were forced to remember the hope and the love and the life full of meaning. Escaping this nightmare, returning to dreaming. So when your whispering roar brushed by heaven's door, they sent you back to live once more.